It's the Greys. It's the Greys. Where are we? We're in the garage. I mean, this is probably as done as it's going to get. No, I'm actually going to paint it. That's not going to happen. Why would that not happen? I wanted to do it a couple weeks ago, but we were having people over. It was going to smell like paint. I can just use all the leftover paint from the house, and it'll just be a bunch of different colors, but it'll look better. I want to keep saying this, this is like our theater, but it's just a garage with a projector in it. Yeah, like, but you got like cute little bench seating and the hanging seating, and if we paint it, it'll look more like a thing. Well, I like that it's a garage. You could like get some movie posters and put them on the wall. Oh, that's true. But like anybody could do this. Anybody could do this. And I'm, I'm like so in my head, like, why don't people use their garages as an extension of their living? Maybe it's just because we have a small house and we have to. Well, I like the garage for this purpose. But when it comes to storing things, it is a pain sometimes. Here's the tour. All right, check it out. So we got, so the back row. All right, check it out. So the back row, this is kind of jank. So the back row is like hanging chairs. So they're a little elevated, right? And then like some of them got, you know, the, 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 the foot rest. That's also hanging. It's got a nice little beam in there for that. Might not quite support. It supports it fine. And then you'll have you have two rows of of these chairs, and then we have the front row of these benches that are totally monkeyed together by me and my dad. And then you have the screen and projector screen and all that. Um, Karaoke is pretty dope in here. Yeah, I think you should uh, give us a little feel for your karaoke. Let's hear it. Go ahead. Somebody call 911. It's all a part of the song I know. If it's about like, you know, like war crimes or something in the middle of the song, do not judge me. I mean, summer, summer is rough in the garage. Summer is rough in the garage. It gets hot. It's hot right now. We have AC. We have fans. We have a help it, fil help it filter. I mean, you have to have, I mean, I don't know how the Japanese do it. Like, they'll have little, the private rooms, and there'll be like five people go to karaoke. It's like, that's a little too intimate for me. There's got to be enough people in karaoke where, like, I want to go to karaoke minimum like eight, ten people. Well, sometimes they just, you could go by yourself in karaoke. Yeah, that seems very sad. Like, should we karaoke right now, just the two of us? It seems, it also seems sad. It does seem a little sad. I mean... Some people don't have any friends. It's not that. It's just a weird activity to do by yourself. I guess you like to sing, and singing along to the radio isn't good enough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why karaoke? If you like to sing, just... All right, so you want to hear about my dream? Yeah. Is this the one you were mad at me after you had it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ahead. So, what I can remember is you had a big... You or somebody, you know, like usually in my dreams, like people morph from one person to the other. Right. So, at some point, it was supposed to be you... But I'm not sure it looked like you or talked like you. You had a big idea to have like this big cart, like think of a shopping cart. And like on top, it's like a bunch of berry like flowers. And they were like flowers and like stuck in holes. Like they're planted in the, like the wood or whatever. Okay. But they had little berries. So you could like pluck berries off of them. And your, your big idea was like, oh, we can just do whatever we do. Like shopping or whatever. Take this cart with us and just snack on the go. It wasn't like to sell them or anything. It was just like, let's. Should I always have berries. Yeah. And like pluck these berries Look off this. Look at this great snack I have. Off this roaming, cart. basically modified shopping cart. I like it. It's a great idea. So we went into like some combination of like Kohl's and like Barnes and Noble kind of vibe. But basically some kind of department store that was really swanky. Mm -hmm. And we were going around and looking at stuff. And I immediately realized, like I always do, I'm very aware of being thought to be a shoplifter. Like if I go into a store and I have like a coat on or like, you know, something puffy or if like my hands are in my pockets too much, I immediately assume people are going to assume I'm going to steal something. Okay. Which you don't experience because you, the world might treat you a little differently. Yes. So in my dream, I remember thinking, oh, they're going to think we're shoplifters. We're going in with a cart of stuff. So you, we're picking off berries and like eating these stupid blueberry looking things. Um, so you go to check out and like have some clothes or whatever. And for some reason, you check out and then like you're doing, going to go do something else or pull the car around. You put the stuff 
In you just car. bought in the cart. I'm pushing around, and then you leave. So then I'm doing something like I gotta go find the boy or something. Then I head to the exit, and there's a bunch of guards like standing around, like waiting for us. And they say, "Oh, the cops are on their way." Like they just assumed I was stealing this stuff immediately. And I'm panicking. I'm like, "Look, surely she put the receipt in the cart with it." Like what? I don't know how to explain this. And I remember being livid. Like. I, I, I'm, I'm reading, I, I wrote it down, and I'm, I remember being so upset at you. There must be something about the dream I'm forgetting. But I think it was just my feelings that the nerve of her to buy this, put in the cart in the store, and then go and disappear. And I'm like, say, I could, let, me just, let me just call my wife. And the security guard's like, oh, yeah, yeah, the sounds, yeah, the police are on their way, sure, sure. And I'm like trying to call you, and I was livid. And now I know what women feel like when they wake up. And are immediately mad for no reason. Yeah. You've done this to me before. Uh, by that, you mean you've done this to me before. Well, I mean, like, you've I didn't, woken up angry I didn't put the clothes the dream. In, I didn't put the clothes in my own cart. I like the berry cart idea, though. It reminds me of like, well, I can't out my mother necessarily, but. It sounds more like something your mom would have, though. My mom. Like, she sounds like she would just walk around with a giant tote bag of berries and <laughs> yeah, carry it yeah, around. The cherries. Room. Yeah, and blueberries or whatever. Um, you know, there's people that will, like, eat the grapes in the store. And yeah. obviously that's a no-no. But my mom would eat. She, you know. Could have one or two. That's a funny joke. You're kidding. Like, uh-huh. if you're buying the grapes. What are you talking about? They're bought by weight. Well, if I'm buying a bushel of grapes and I taste a grape in the store or my, the boy is hungry and I give him a grape when he's a baby, uh, I, it's not going to change the weight of the grapes so much. I'm not eating half the grapes, but like one or two grapes is not a big deal. Lots of people do it. Don't lots of people do it? Are you going to tell me I ruined this video because I am am eating grapes in the store? Don't people do that? Or like you let the kid eat half a banana and then you pay for. No comment. The comment has been given. I mean, but I've done. I've been like, oh, he ate some of the grapes to the cashier, and she's like, whatever. <laughs> well, why would you give that information? Like, what is she supposed to do with that information? Nobody cares. Charge you extra? Like, why would you tell her? Never mind. I've never done that. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Big funny. Um, yeah. So, for eighties night, we had eighties movie night, and we, and then, um, so what it really was was. Well, 80s, I'm telling you how it started. 80s night with a movie. And so I'm like, 80s movie. So I just put on there on the invite, 80s movie night. And then Sawyer was all, oh, are we going to dress up too? Ha, 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 ha. And then I'm like, gotcha. We are going to do that now. That's a great idea. I don't know if you were serious, but now you're obligated. And then she's like, oh, no, I'll be the only one. I'm like, okay, we'll do it too. So I Amazon me. Some eighties. You Amazon yourself something eighties, which I didn't even get to see because it was so cliche. Yeah. So, okay. so the original and one, the original one said eighties. I, I on love it. the eighties. Well, again, no one in the eighties probably wore a shirt saying "I love the 80s. Were you there? So, I'm sorry. I'm so young. I can't remember the eighties. Next is nineties night, and <sighs> I was talking to somebody who is going to a 90s like just 90s dress up like we we have movie night it's a movie night and if you want to look stupid be our guest but jake is going to like an actual like basically a costume party 90s costume party which is kind of ridiculous we looked cool not stupid but can you imagine like a '90s costume party? It's it's too recent to have as a theme. David, costume party. it's like thirty years it's ago, twenty something years ago. And uh, but more importantly, what is the '90s style? Um, Everyone says eh, denim. Like that's not enough. It's super. So it's like the '80s, but not as crazy. Exactly. Like super toned down. I feel like the '90s was a very what hair is '90s? What did I have? Like what's mind? distinctive about the '90s fashion? I don't know. 
Oh, well, I guess like baggy. Baggy. Baggy, clothes. a bunch of holes, maybe baggy tattered, holes, cutoffs. Yeah. But that is so like not colorful. Like 70s was colorful in its way, like maybe 70s pastels. Like really fun. 70s fun was dress-up. pastel. Yeah. 80s was neon. 90s was nothing. Muted. Muted colors. It was like aggressively the other direction. So I, I don't, you know, 90s is going to be chill as a as a movie night. I look forward to the 90s movie part of it. I don't know what I, you know, I, I know exactly what I'm going to wear. What are you wearing right now? No. Polos did not exist in the 90s. They sure did. Uh, you know, you know, colors. I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to wear. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go as a, uh, not, uh, what's uh Tommy Lee Jones. From the Fugitive? Yeah. Nerd. When I when I was dude when I was eight or whatever, I was like, "That's cool, jeans, t-shirt, sport mm-hmm. coat." Yeah, that's like I'm a detective well, and I'm usually drunk, but today I've come to work. That is very nineties. Like blazers were very in. It was like business casual for fun. That was the nineties. What's another character night from the nineties? A lot of people were talking clueless. Share. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. That was um, of the 90s. Anybody on Friends. But not, that, that doesn't like pencil skirts and like, like that's not. Baby tops. What is a baby top? Spaghetti strap tops with a little that's tea not, underneath. Uh, that's, that's so super subtle though. 90s. No, that is so 90s because nobody does no, that anymore. People do. Dresses over your jeans. Dresses over your who, when, and how? Oh my word! Who's well, actually, that's two that? thousands. I think that's two thousands. I'm, I'm gonna look up a JC Penny catalog and refresh my memory of nineties. The nineties. High jeans. You don't, cause it's not, high like, jeans. High jeans is here. Yeah, cause you're 90, wearing high jeans now. Ninety style is coming back in. Exactly. That's so why. that's why. Ninety style is very much now. Anyway, um, yeah. So like, it's the movie. It's a movie night. You can dress appropriately if you want. But, I mean, we're here to watch what? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That was an 80s movie. Um, there was another that one. That nobody wanted to watch. There was another one. Just get the next one around. Honey, I what was it? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids again? So one of them honey, honey, I Blew Up the Kids? So what is Blew Up, by the way? Oh, uh, Blew Up. So when he I was, was big. He became ginormous. When I, was, when I was growing up, that did not make any sense to me. Like, I knew what the movie was about. But I did not understand blow up meant in large. So it just, it just sounded like he blew up the kids. And yeah. I did not know what the title had to do with the content of the movie. I didn't blew up the kids. That's a good one. That was a good one. I bet it's a stupid movie. Like, um, what's the one about the St. Bernard? Beethoven. Yeah, Beethoven. Oh, yeah, that was Homeward good. Bound. Homeward Bound. See, now, don't uh, tell me if I put on Homeward Bound, I, not everybody would instantly love it. Everyone would instantly love it. It's a classic. Veto Power. My life. Or it's now or never. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna live forever. <laughs> Let's hope not. What? Why would you say that? What an odd thing to say. It's my life. We forgot something. Oh. It's the Grays. It's the Grays. 